Um, there's a very, there's a very, uh, uh, concentrated, uh, uh, push for Cold Amamadakwa. Apparently this is pretty good. You are hearing things. So, uh, sure. Why not? Okay. <laughs> mm. I really hope it doesn't result in a noise that just stays the playing the whole time. That'd be really frustrating, if so. What if the noise helps you make the beat more hardcore? <laughs> I can't hear it anymore, guys. Put it on a tape so I can like get it out of my system. This window is pristine on the inside. Unlike. And then there was a locked door, right? Are there some um in that on that window are there some uh hidden choices inside the dialogues or the choices? This window, smooth as ice, following your lead. Nothing there. Looks like it, yes. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. I recall do I recall that before and then um mentioning it to her. And mm -hmm. then the door outside was locked and I yeah. think I think we tried to bash it. Yeah, you kicked it really good. Oh. Oh, ten cents. You see the yard below. The corpse is no longer there. Alright. Good job, Kim. So that's no longer my room, huh? Can you still access it? I was wondering. You I can. guess we, we can get free money over here. <laughs> yeah, don't look at the, do the please, door. Please, please don't. It was a rough night, okay? Damn, bitch, you live like this? <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't tell people how I live. All right. What about Titus? Does he have new lines now that we spoke to Classy again? The clowns are still hanging around. Yeah, we are what? What is it now? Your startup animation's too slow. Oh. We talked about the rape. The tape. The tape. The tape. The tape. The tape about the rape. Yeah. <laughs> and? And nothing. She stands by what she said. That fucking fucker. You're the worst cops in Revishaw. I gave you gold on that tape. And I gave you context. That fucker wasn't aimed at you. Mm -hmm. It was at her. Mm -hmm. Evidently. Gold? It was just locker room. Oh talk. It's no! Not evidence. Don't you actually phrase it like that? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Word. Nope. Don't. No. Wait, when was this game? <laughs> Hold on a minute. I need to double check. The initial release. The initial, initial the release. The initial release of Disco Elysium. I need to verify that this was, in fact, released in 2019. Not too long ago. Yeah. It's a fun game. Dark stuff, but it didn't prove anything, and it didn't change her mind. Yeah, it was bad. Honestly, I expected it to have more effect. She pretty much laughed it off, Titus. Yeah. That's how she took it. Fucking fuckity fucker. And what did she say then? That it's fine. People are supposed to be like that. Nah, he's not a good person. But you're not much better. Sounds like he wanted it to change her mind about the hanged man. This is definitely personal. Yeah. It did not come as a surprise to her, and she definitely wasn't scared. Actually, I think it made her a little nostalgic. If anything, she seemed turned on by the whole door gunning thing. <sighs> Jesus Christ. What does that mean? What does what mean? Door gunner. The tape? Yeah, but what is... What is yeah, uh... Just going down and 
gunning the door. Like, I'd, I... You know, well, I guess getting in there and... I... Yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. Yes. In fact, I think she thought it was a little funny. The lieutenant looks at you, then at him. Funny. No good goddamn psycho whore. Mm-hmm. All right. All fucking righty then. I guess it's good then. That fucking... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Please try to control yourself in the presence of visitors, Titus. Her voice is a bit softer than earlier. Please do not try to catch feelings. <laughs> Okie dokie. This is just perfect. Just fucking perfect. Any thoughts on this, lawman? Titus rubs his chin with his palm, as if trying to grind it smooth. You don't have to say everything out loud. Just mix and match. I think this is personal for you. I think you had feelings for her. Maybe she isn't who you thought she was. Maybe she's still in denial. You know, like a defense mechanism. Be straight with me, Titus. What really happened? Wrap this up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hardy's be catching feelings. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they're all queers. Can't bump hard fist or anything. Okay. That is not what that says. That is not what that said, but... At all. Yeah. It's all right, Glenn. I just thought, gee, I thought anyone would come around that heard that shit. Apparently, I was wrong. Yeah, that was fucked up. He smiles sympathetically. You wanted her to see the man for what he was. Now that you know, you might want to lay off this topic, or else you might antagonize him. Antagonize him. I just got too worked up. Big man lost his shit. It's cool now. He shakes his head. Now, they said you don't have to say everything. Just mix and match, right? You don't have to say everything out loud. Just mix and match. Yeah. Implying you don't have to go down the entire list. Okay. Uh, two seems okay. Two seems fine. I agree. I yeah. agree. Nah. I know her. She's just a girl. In over her head. He looks upstairs distracted. Titus. She has my whole skill set compromised. She's some kind of pro. <laughs> you don't know? She's a model. She won a pageant. She's not some helpless girl. She handed the mercenary, handled the mercenary well enough. She's a hardcore party girl with a bigger death wish than mine. I guess you do know her then. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> she compromised me, bro. <laughs> this is also true. That's that's what I think the most right now. I think that yes, the hangman was rough, and to Titus it was disgusting to watch that. But Classier, she just in her eyes was she dealt with properly. She, and leaned, she, into yeah. she leaned into it. She leaned in. She leaned into it. all of yeah. it. So to the outside, to Titus, it was too rough. But he doesn't know what truly transpired. Perhaps he called them loincloths, bro. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Mm. You're right about that. She takes way too many drugs. Well, it's as they say. You can't do anything with an underdose. The mask says with a philosophical look in his eyes. Yeah, underdose isn't an actual word. It's microdose. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... She has an actual drug problem. Not like you. Not like us. I don't think I've ever seen her sober. Alright, well, you want to skip three? Definitely. Alright, what happened, bro? I already told you. We fucking hanged him. He puts his giant face in his hands and sighs. Stick to the script. But we've already flipped it. There's less gusto in his voice now. His men too are growing increasingly silent. Mm -hmm. Come on, Titus. 
We know you didn't hang him. He was shot. I know you're tired. So am I. Why don't you just... You know what? I am tired. I'm tired of you and the whore upstairs. Next time you see her, tell her. Titus said. Fuck off! He throws his beer can down. And that lion scamming. We're done. This is over. You understand? Your little investigation is over. Oh, we even we even spared him. Not quite. Yeah. There's a silence in the room. Alain starts saying something, then thinks best not to. On the floor, beer drips out of the can into a small puddle. No one does anything about it. Liz? What is this quiet funeral shit? What we need is some beers in us. Bartender! 20 beers for the dock workers union. Why do we make it 40, huh? <laughs> Why do we make it a hundred beers? You're not loud enough. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> damn. Gart. <laughs> Gart's gonna start. Yo. A hundred beers? Now we're talking. Hoppity hop over here, cafeteria manager. Rhetoric. Convince Titus he is being manipulated. <laughs> Very high. 97%. Yo, ever done an exam and the teacher said nobody can get a hundred percent? Oh my you god! Get ninety-seven on this. But Gart, essay. Gart is about to make bank. <laughs> He's garting up. Oh my god! Let's get it guarded. Hey, <laughs> let's get it guarded in it's here. here. <laughs> uh, mentioned surreal play. Strange reaction to bullet. Everard asked to co to uh, congregate or cooperate. cooperate. Yeah, cooperate. Uh, compromised skill set known. Understood why Titus is upset. Uh, Angus can't take pressure. Discard. Discussed eighth Hardy. This is a white check. You may retry it. Godly. Crit. Convince Titus he's <laughs> okay. being manipulated. You should know by now. Titus Hardy will never falter. Six. Okay. We have the we have the thing, and we can check to see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. One of his boys will. That's it then. Case closed. We're going home, Kim. Mm-hmm. Fat Angus, the powerful guy, Mr. All Muscle. The time has come. Put him in the pressure cooker. Ooh, you you ever see an old school pressure cooker? You ever see how those things work back in the day? Like my mom used to use one and they have a little like like the, the tip of the top of the um the lid spins in a circle and it goes like and like oh. as you pressure cook. It like makes a little noise, and you see the tip of the of the handle of the lid moving. Oh, I've never seen that. It's no. really weird. It's really interesting. <laughs> Just remember, it's about more than Glazia. It's about these men and Martinez, their district, their responsibility. Red. Outside, in the midday sun, ruins. The pavements are cracked, and the benches peeling. Newspapers blow in the wind. All right, that's it then. Case closed. We're going home, Kim. Huh? The lieutenant raises his brow. He'll get it. Go on. Write it down, Kim. In Martinez, they'll just kill you because they don't like you. Got it. Kill you because they don't like you. All because... Because of some chick. Because you're a foreigner. Because you work for the wrong people. Because they like killing. Ah. How are you gonna... You know? Mm, but you wanna, you wanna crack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because they like killing? Because they like killing! Yeah, we liked it. It was fun, wasn't it, guys? We had a great time! 
It wasn't for your fucking entertainment, Dennis. She... He gets a hold of himself. They kill you because they think it's funny. They just hang you, like in the Dark Ages, make a display of your corpse. They just hang you, shoot you, whatever. They can't even remember. Yeah. It wasn't that. It wasn't. We didn't shoot him. The fat man says with a wheeze. That's it. That's the weak one. You flushed him out. Now go in for the... Officer. You will be next if you don't shut up. The old man reaches for his belt, but his voice is strangely calm. Did he even speak up before? I don't even remember what lines he said the first time around. He's onto you. He knows what you're trying to do. Keep Stealing going. Steal yourself. Push on. Yeah. Just ignore fear. Or what? You're gonna kill me like you killed them? For no fucking reason. <laughs> what happens if I keep talking, huh? You're gonna kill me too? In this bar? For nothing? Look at Kim first. Turn, look at Kim first. Is that like a power play? Nah. We didn't kill him. We didn't even hang him. He was dead when yeah. he takes a breath, wheezing. Shut up, Angus. He was dead before you hanged him. Fatty. Say one more thing to the cops and I'll... The little guy hits Angus on the back of the head. A loud slap. <laughs> Whirling in rags. Dennis, stand down or I'll beat your head in. Theo, take your hand off the belt. This isn't 31. Oh, shit. I've got this under control. Yo, he was ready. The room falls quiet. So quiet, you can hear Angus wheeze. Angie, where's your goddamn inhaler? You sound like you're dying. I left it home. I can't get it. I'm too fucked. I'm sorry. He grabs his chest. He's cracking. He's cracking. Why are you so fucking fat, Angus? Oh! Now it's all pointless. Because of you. You wasted my time. I told you, Titus. I told you just give her up. Oh, oh. I thought... Hold on. I thought you, like, came back a conscientious lawyer of the people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not very nice of you, Liz. Lizzie. Your help is no longer needed here. Go tell Everard. Fine. I'll tell him. After a long walk along the coast. She walks off without looking back. You're not very nice, Council. What just happened between these two? You're in. He's all yours. Questions. Sorry I made you guys fight. We yeah, did it! Good shit, Kim, good shit. I like last week, I'm gonna get arrested today. We did it, Kim! The lieutenant gives a smile only you can see. So you didn't kill him. He was already dead. He nods. You hanged the corpse to cover up the real cause of death. The bullet in his head. Another nod. Why? Because the girls asked us to. They were in some shit. The girls? Girls plural. Okay. There's another girl. Two of them. Take note of this. They'll probably say more about her later. Did she kill him? Cop, I have no idea. The girl says she didn't. He doesn't think she did. Or at least he hopes she didn't. What happened on Sunday night? Class J came down. She seemed really out of it. Drugged up, even more than usual. Bug-eyed and gurning, you know? Not in a fun way. It looked like she'd re-dosed after something went down. I've seen that look before. She was scared. I knew someone had died. How did you know? I've done this job for ten years. I've seen it before. It's the politician in the motel room with the dead hooker scenario. Only in reverse. Mm-hmm. 
dead John. Good analogy, boss. <laughs> you don't get to talk yet, Chinky. You're still on the bench. You keep taking it easy too, Angus. Turns back to you. That's okay with the fat man. Still wheezing there. Yeah, well, he couldn't speak if he wanted to. We never confirmed who that other leader, light footstep person was. Mm hmm. What happened then? We went upstairs. Sure as day, the Merc was dead. And there was a bullet hole through the window. That fucking dirty sheets and bottles everywhere. He scratches his chin. He means they've been fucking. Tibbs patched the window and the corpse. He hanged. Uh, can you go back up a bit? Just I want to bullet through the window. Through the window. So that's where we'll, it was replaced. We'll check a little. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, upstairs, and she didn't. Yeah, she and she just said nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but you got uh, who's Tibbs? The eighth Hardy? Yeah, he's my brother. He's in the window replacement business. Tibbs, that's short for Tiberius. Yeah, good man. Bet their father's name Atticus Hardy. Lucretia Hardy would be their sister. Anyway. Uh huh. Class, you didn't kill him. Why the cover up? You may have noticed our girl through some shit of her own. I didn't notice anything. What kind of shit are we talking about? The can't show up on police radar kind. There were people after her from the old, old world where she came from. Mm, these people, who are they? They're powerful, connected to the moral intern. She's clearly afraid for her life. Says if she showed up in your systems, she'd be ghosted away. Mm. That's all he knows. That's all she's told him. And why would you help someone like that? By taking on a murder? Why would I? I guess we abide all sorts of runaways and losers here. It's a Martinez thing. Damn. So who killed the Merc then? Any leads? Not yet. Just some ideas. She says the shot came from outside, behind the window somewhere. So that's a clue. What are you thinking? I'm thinking someone's past caught up with them. Either hers or his. So he must have been on top. And the person was directly behind them. And then the bullet came straight forward and went straight upwards lodging just underneath the skull yeah because it went through the mouth and underneath the skull right it like went that? it went upward. right up it shot he was shot from the bottom of the of the head upwards into the skull yeah so maybe he looked up and he got shot while he was on top or something looking up or well e e either way sniped from a position where yeah like that yeah that okay. was exposed okay First, we mean. i mean the people after Claudia. maybe the shot missed maybe it was meant for her i like that been thinking the same thing myself and you had ideas about his past too my dude one of those mercenary buddies of his could have done it. They got guns, training, years of bad blood, probably. Or it could have been someone else from Cronell. He pauses to think. Tell you what I'd do. Check out the coast for vantage points. Maybe consult with a ballistics buddy of mine. That's what I'd do. If I wasn't too busy doing this clown dance with you. Yo, reverse sniper ballistics. A mile away from the top of the Eiffel. He's calm now. Threw all that turmoil away and became himself again. Where are we going? Whose idea was it to hang him anyway? Hers? In a manner of speaking. 
Remember the two girls? He may be talking about the other one. Earlier you said the girls asked for your help. Was this the other girl? That's right. It was her idea to hang him. I liked it for political reasons. It sent a good message. It's her, isn't it? The missing eight Hardy. That's the other girl. The big guy turns to Glenn, who's about to say something. The blonde shuts his mouth before a word escapes. I'll say it again. All the Hardy boys are right here, cop. That woman is just affiliated with the Hardy boys. You don't know her anyway. Okay, understood. Can you tell me anything about her? Name, current location? You're going to stonewall me if I ask her more about you. If I ask more about her, aren't you? Glad you understand that. Oh, sorry I made you guys fight. Me too. <laughs> Damn. All right, cheers. Top of the morning. You do that. Hey, cop. Before you go. Grabs his beer and swirls it in his hand, then thinks of something. I'll go talk to her for the last time. Suddenly, the wind picks up outside. You hear it rattling the large windows in their frames. It carries newspapers, circles the whirling in rags in a warm column. She... Clausia came to Martinez to hide. Many of us did. This is where you wash up when there's nowhere left to go. The Union takes you in. Now, she refused that protection, but... Still, after all this headache... But you would still prefer if we didn't take her away. That's right. If we didn't take care of the people who end up here, this place would just be a couple of ruins and some cargo containers. We'll take that into account. The lieutenant slides his notebook into his coat pocket. He turns to leave. Fruitful ass discussion. Damn. And he doesn't even want to talk about it. I'll give it a minute. Maybe we go talk to Classia. All right. You did your autosave. What are we looking at here? Because we just got a point Behind we can spend on that. Workers, a ceiling height window. Perception. The whole thing branches Six. scrape the glass. Like bony fingers. No, we spent it. Perception at five. Okay. Damn. And now you bring the whole thing back. Oh my god. And we are. Year we got some questions. And we are twenty minutes from uh, four o'clock. What's happening at four p.m.? The um, the dice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Karaoke is good to go. It wasn't there a. Uh, wasn't it about waiting for the disco lights to come on before doing that? Yeah, thing? I would wait at nine before singing. Hey. Was there something you needed? Alright. Oh, it's 4.30 for the die? Okay. Oh, it's not, not yet. Soon. Oh, Classy, you better have some good answers. Well, I mean, on the run is usually a pretty decent thing. And then, I don't know he got shot is also a thing but it's like who's gonna believe that you know because you you're, you're boning and then suddenly the person you're boning is a corpse yeah so um we're still all conceptualized aren't we yeah we are all right Let's get ourselves back in shape. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Titus is less of a dick now. I mean, you know, the reasons have been exposed. It is mm. what it is. Yeah, trying to look good. 
Just trying to give myself some EDC. Oh. Uh, rhetoric. Composure. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. Authority. Perception. Yeah, let's go. Ready to go. This window is pristine on the inside. Unlock. Hello, Classier. Have you seen my net worth? <laughs> Have you felt it? It's always good to see you. She cries. So where is her demeanor has changed? She's tired, consigned to her fate, to being here with you and what's to come. The Hardy Boys told us exact told us what really happened. I understand. She puts her coffee mug on the table. You don't look surprised. You're expecting this. You sent us on a runaround. You lied to us, miss. Chill, I'm the cool cop, remember? Oh, she like, doesn't deserve that at all. <laughs> I ain't cool with her anymore. I knew there was a chance you'd get them to tell you. It's what you do. You're the police. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for wasting your time. This is good. Clear the air first, between you two. Then move on to questions. Compromise. All right, rhetoric. <laughs> no, it's not. Compromise. It's the opposite of that. This will let her dictate the terms of your... Shush, I can't hear <laughs> <laughs> If you knew we would find out eventually, why did you waste our time? Because of the Hardys. I couldn't just dispense with them. They were only trying to help me. Out of the shit I'd gotten into. Mm, that's not a good enough reason. Cool, I'm satisfied with this explanation. Mm, come on, dig a little deeper. You're right. There's more. More? You answer to the coalition government, and by extension, the moral intern. She reaches for a new cigarette. Briefly glancing over her shoulder to the sea, as she's done time and time again. A grand expanse of water reaches over the bay and to the horizon, golden gray in the moonlight. What lies beyond it? The pearl, the Buindi Isola, the Occident, and then Oranje, the old, old world. Is that why you're, why you're looking over your shoulder? You're afraid of the moral intern? What's the RCM involvement with the moral intern got to do with this? The RCM isn't the lap dog of the moral intern. You don't have to worry. Uh, can we say that with a true assurance, though? Oh. I don't think we know enough to know that. I think she would uh, trust it. We can, exactly. The idea of the name in a database being a problem is simple enough. You share a database with them. You send people to their courts. She lights the cigarette. What's going on? What did you do? Just business. But bad business for some people in the moral intern. If I show up in your records, officer, they will find me. They will... I mean, if one of these factions is eating children and injecting adrenochrome, it's going to be the moral intern. Yeah, sounds uh, on brand. <laughs> what happens if they do? They will kill me, sir. If you file my name, take me in for questioning, enter me into the moral intern mill, well, then I'm fucked. For nothing. This murder didn't have anything to do with me. There's a wince and a pained little smile. Here we go. For once, you seem to have a rough guard. What did you do to have these people after you? What happened here the night they di the night he died? Why did you call the cops if you're hiding? When was the window changed? Yeah, all good questions. It's not nice, but it's not illegal. Not here in Ravishol. 
or even in Orania. Mm -hmm. What exactly did you do? Industrial espionage. I joined a business collective with the intention of betraying them. I did my job well enough to be asked to do it again. With a bigger company. The kind you really, really don't fuck with. I took their ledgers. Two decades worth of accounting. I need the names of the companies involved and who hired you. He taps on his notebook. This is some white collar shit? Yep, I was not expecting Are that. Are you fucking kidding me? I was not expecting that. Ugh! The job was Lou's doing County Savings Bank. They sound small, but they're part of the Lou Scott conglomerate. That was the second job. The first was some printer company. You wouldn't know them. As to who hired me for the job, I don't know. But they're after me too. Along with Lou Scop and their friends in the MI. Once you're done in the competitive intelligence circuit, you don't have allies. You're radioactive. Lowe's cap. These people engineer financial disasters in second world countries. The conglomerate also includes the Bank of Consecration, Airbird, and the popular Papalolo line of dairy products. Okay, so when do we get to blow away Bernie Madoff? Like, what are we doing here? Like, lit, like that's that's all it comes down to. Some stupid fucking like, ugh. Papalolo. I'm sure, there are people who have done much worse than that. Serves them right. When I am king, this savings bank will be the first against the wall. You're right. This is bad. You've destroyed what people have built. That's a lot of shit you've gotten yourself into. What the fuck is Papa Lolo? <laughs> Sorry. Dairy products from Loose Cap Conglomerate. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't just stick to Papa Lolo. I'm sure there's people who've done much worse than that. Oh, that's a lot of shit. Yeah. Sure. I'm not a war criminal, but it was bad. People lost their jobs. Good people too, not just C-suite. She shakes her head at the thought. A lot of people got hurt, but that's just more of my shit you shouldn't have to deal with. You're solving a murder. Hmm. Hold it's on a not second. Nice, but what exactly did hold you on, do? Hold Industrial on, hold on. espionage. I joined with a bigger company. The kind I need the names of the company. The job was Lou's doing County Savings Bank. They sound small, but they're part of the Lou Scott. As to who hired me for the job, I don't know. But they're after me too. Along with Lou mm -hmm. Scott. So she's, she's not Cap. mentioning. These people engineer financial disasters in second world countries. She's the not mentioning what the. Consecration. Uh, and the two decades worth of accounting of information field. contained. No. She's not mentioning what was in those books. No. Whether there was anything uh, extremely compromising or not, but I think it's safe to assume there was. Um, and uh, alongside, uh, you know, regular people getting caught in the crossfire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is. Many people, lost. a lot of people got hurt. But that's just more of my shit you shouldn't have to deal with. All right. Solving a murder. Not asking about Papa Lolo, eh? Mm. <laughs> what exactly? Industrial wow. espionage with a bigger company. I need the names. The job was Papa Lolo, Lolo I love that shit. Lose. Yeah, I'm on the run. These people engineer fun. Yeah. Papa fucking Lolo wants to kill me. She smiles. All right. It is. <laughs> a lot of people got hurt, but that's just more of my shit you shouldn't have to deal with. So what happened so here the night he died? We were there. Together. In bed, I mean. Exactly what happened. Okay. He was in a kneeling position. He had just entered me. I was on my back, looking at him. I heard the window behind me shatter, and I turned to look. There was a hole in the glass. I don't know if it's my visual calculus or my conceptualization that is through the roof right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's it's called Wooly telling you what it was five minutes ago. Oh, okay. Like I didn't mention it right before you mentioned it. What? 
I about said, the position yeah, he was the position in. He was shot like this, so he was probably facing down on top of her, and you were like, Bruh. I brought up the fact that I brought up the, the missionary part. I brought it up. Okay. What are you talking about? Well, yours is high too, then. <laughs> All right. Listen. <laughs> okay. You can rewind the tape on that one. I br I I brought up the topic of it, of that it the, of how it went down, and then we discussed the bullet in the skull and all the other yeah. shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll know in the future. <laughs> Compromise, Angie. Compromise. <laughs> Anyways, yes, that's the, that's that's the es that's the estimation of, of how you get shot in the head in that particular weird way. Because I was thinking, I'm like, why would the bullet enter? From from below the way it did based on what they're saying, I'm like, oh, they and they were in the middle of having sex, so they had to get shot in a particular sexual yeah. angle, and that's 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 what I was that's what I was thinking. I turned back to him. His eyes were looking through me, and his mouth was open. Oh, dumb. I could see. I could. Yeah, there was like an episode of Seinfeld about that. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where Kramer is hooking up with this girl, and then uh, he goes narcoleptic, I think, and passes out, <laughs> and she thinks that he died on top of her. It's <laughs> crazy, you know. I forget how it ends. I think he goes on stage and has a bad night. Mm -hmm. Her chest rises and falls with each word. She keeps herself together and says it. I, 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 I thought it was a dream. <laughs> I knew he was dead before he fell down on top of me. Yeah, that's a that's fucked up. Yeah. Then what happened? He was heavy. I pushed him off and he fell to the floor. There. He only had his boots on. I bit the pillow, not to scream, then ran downstairs. There's a long pause. She just stands there, her arms at her sides. Kept his Tim's on. True New Yorker. I waited for the second shot to come. For me. I thought there would be one. It never came. She's forgotten about her cigarette. The butt has burned right down to her fingernails. Your cigarette, miss. He wasn't even wrong for keeping the armor on during sex. <laughs> oh, God. It was not even the wrong call. Oh, my Bruh. God. Ugh. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Your cigarette, miss. I'm sorry this happened to you. you. Sure you're not making this up? That's a motherfucker. We're going to need more details. Mm -hmm. uh, how much do we want to grill, though? Because we are still compromised. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And I'm not going to pretend for a second that we're not. It's hard, but you got to be a cop. If he only had the boots on, then what about the part with him while keeping the armor on? I'm not lying to you. Okay. She looks down, wincing. Her cigarette has singed her fingers. You may sometimes be bad at reading her, but this time, truly, she's telling you how it really went down. Thank you, drama. She throws it away and immediately proceeds to light another one. What time was this? When did it happen? It would help us if you could be as precise as possible. 